Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. Well, uh, we're discussing now another perhaps potential price hike. Well, it, it's got to do with the airlines. Uh, some of the news making the rounds. We'll talk about that now. We're joined by uh, Captain Omar Edemeka. He's an airline pilot and also transport consultant. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you, Chamberlain. Well, there's this uh, news making the rounds that as a result of the operations audits that will be conducted by the regulatory body with the airlines, it may just affect the price of airfares. Is that the way it works? No, uh, it doesn't work that way. Uh, when you, uh, when the regulatory body, the NCA, intends to carry out what they call operations audit, what that actually means is that it's actually a tool. Uh, it's a kind of uh, tool that will um, enhance or that will uh, um, look at the level of regulatory compliance of the various operators. Uh, an operation audit is done uh, from time to time. Some audits are routine, some are spot check, but some are whole operation processes. So when you, co when you say the authority wants to do um, an, an operation audit, mm -hmm. what you're actually saying is this. Uh, they want to look at if what the regulations are and then the state of implementation, how the airlines, how the various operators are actually getting this implementation done. So it's a whole big process. It's a whole big checklist of things that they want to do, about 21 pages of items that they will check and wow. cross-check. So it may not, um, it shouldn't lead to price hike. It's, it's interesting <laughs> you use the word, it shouldn't and it may not. It, yep. uh, the, the, uh, those are very interesting words because I, when we saw the front page of The Guardian, I think it was yesterday, mm -hmm. they were pretty categorical uh, that airfares were going to go up as a result of the audit. Do you think it's because of the current state of affairs in the industry? If airfares, uh, if airfares go up now, it has nothing to do with an operation audit. What, uh, what an operation audit actually simply will do is this. Uh, the template is the authority will communicate to the airlines involved. I want to audit you. So they give them that notice ahead of yes, time? Yes, of course. It's not something you... Some uh, auditor spot check, but a complete operation audit will be something that will need to be discussed. And then they do a pre-audit meeting. And after a pre-audit meeting, they do the audit process itself. Do you think that's, sorry to interrupt you, but do you think that's be because, you know, because of housekeeping? If the airlines themselves are checking their own books and they think that there could be loopholes and gaps, to, in order to meet up, do you see them expending a lot more and transferring the cost to consumers? I mean, do you see it playing out that way? Um, you see, the airline, business is, uh, the airline business is a kind of business that, the margin of profit from day one is very slim. Most airlines make like 10% profit. So uh, audit has nothing to do with transferring cost. What the, what the auditors or what the NCA inspectors will, will look at during the audit process itself, will, they will look at the uh, organogram, the management mm -hmm. structure, they will look at uh, who are the post holders. There's what the, uh, the, the NCA regulation says that designates some people to be post holders, like who a chief pilot should be, who the accountable manager, and the qualifications that this person will have. Then they will look at uh, the way they keep their documents. They look at crew training. And then they look at what the book says. That's what the regulation says. and what the airline is doing in-house to make sure that these standards are maintained. They look at their in-house uh, quality assurance. That's, uh, you know, in-house auditors, what the in-house auditors are doing. When you, mm -hmm. say, when you say quality assurance, what you actually mean is that the in-house, every airline ought to have an in-house department that also do a small audit from time to okay. time. So NCA will oversight them. So it has nothing completely to do then after this pardon me we need to go on this break but we'll continue uh from that uh, train of thoughts when we return join us again